welcome to the Perlman School of Medicine at the University of Pennsylvania and the Alzheimer's Disease Course Center. You're on the third floor of the Maloney Building uh, here at Penn, and this is the home of the administrative core of the ADCC, the Alzheimer's Disease Core Center, as well as the home of the uh, core for biomarkers, neuropathology, and genetics. I like to take this opportunity to acknowledge a tremendous contribution the Alzheimer's Disease Center made to our Center for Neurodegenerative Disease Research at the University of Pennsylvania. And as you know that John Trojanowski is the director of the ADC and that started about over 20 years ago because of the ADC and allow us to build an infrastructure to study patients with Alzheimer's disease. An important driver of research in Alzheimer's disease and related disorders at the University of Pennsylvania has been this unique pilot program that's part of the ADCC. Uh, this has been going on for about 23 years, so we've really fed a lot of science from across the University of Pennsylvania, not just the medical school, but other schools as well. You're going to meet some of the pilot awardees uh, throughout the virtual tour of our Alzheimer's Center, but I'm delighted to introduce Eddie Lee, who's a recent pilot awardee, who will tell you more about his science. Yeah. Thanks, John. Um, so the pilot program's amazing. It, it comes at that time, that critical time where, where you have an idea, but you don't really have um, all the data to support your ideas. Um, and so, as a, as a relatively young investigator, I started my lab just a couple years ago. It was instrumental in taking some of these ideas and being able to generate some preliminary data. One of the most exciting things being a young investigator here is all the different kind of studies that we do. I think we do everything that's, uh, that covers the entire translational spectrum from bench to bedside. And one of the really exciting discoveries that we've come upon recently is the fact that the proteins inclusions that characterize so many of these neurodegenerative diseases are in fact maybe transmissible. So I'd like to introduce you to La Shaw. My work is focused on the validation uh, and implementation uh, of biomarker tests of Alzheimer's disease neuropathology. These tests mirror the neuropathology uh, that is seen in mildly impaired folks. So the importance of uh, detecting disease before dementia, of course, is that it, it will be very important as treatment trials focus at this earlier stage uh, to test treatments before the disease has progressed too far. In the ADCC, I oversee the genetics portion of the Neuropathology Genetics and Biomarker Core. In this core, we receive blood from the ADCC, and from that we extract DNA and bank it. In addition, routinely we perform APOE genotyping, as well as additional genetic testing, especially in patients who have a family history of a neurodegenerative diseases. What I mainly do, as most of you possibly know, is work on genetics of Alzheimer's disease. And this is a collaboration between many different groups, and essentially a collaboration between all of the Alzheimer's centers that NIA funds. What we've done in terms of genetics is use those samples along with many other samples from around the country to identify genes that are risk factors for Alzheimer's. We hope to add more genetic understanding of Alzheimer's so we could possibly contribute more drug targets so eventually can be tried and evaluated. A lot of the work I do is with Lee Han Wong, who's a faculty member here at Penn in the Department of Pathology and Lab Medicine. He's a bioinformatician, and he and I work very closely on Alzheimer's genetics. Uh, he has expertise not only in bioinformatics, which helps us greatly, but he also has, his, he and his group and his lab have great skills in handling big data. In our last paper, there were 74,000 subjects involved. Each of those subjects had three and a half million genetic data points associated with them, and of course, then phenotype uh, data. So it really does take major com computer skills to handle all of that. I'm affiliated with ADC in uh, two ways. One is uh, I received a pilot from ADC in 2010. Our job was to do RNA sequencing on frozen Alzheimer's and affected brain to study better about uh, the transcript on Alzheimer's disease. The pilot went pretty well. We wrote several bioinformatics papers and some of the tools we developed eventually turned into uh, NIH grants. Uh, two NIH grants we got funded, including NIGATS, which is the uh, uh, NIA uh, data repository for uh, all the uh, NIA funded genetics research for Alzheimer's. The second aspect is the uh, I'm a member of the data management and statistics court 
directed by uh, Sharon Xie. And uh, Sharon and I do a lot of things. We collaborate with different people. Here are the major experiences. Uh, we look at the uh, INDD database uh, put together by uh, ADC here. These are big data, terabytes ter and terabytes of data. How do we put them together? How do we harmonize them, do analysis? And the ADC program is actually a perfect opportunity for analyzing. You have more than 30 different sources of data. It's a really exciting challenge for computer scientists. We have built a wonderful database that links multiple neurodegenerative diseases together. And this database supports many interesting Alzheimer disease studies. We provide study design guidance to a variety of projects. The study will ensure we have collected enough um, animals and human participants and so that we have enough power to detect underlying associations. We also provide statistical training to the next generation physician scientists, neuropathologists, geneticists, and doctoral students and in bioinformatics area and biostatistics areas. We have developed new statistical techniques to allow us to incorporate these participants without comprehensive dementia evaluations. And this new tool allows us to improve the precision of risk profile estimation to the conversion to dementia. And I'm going to take you over to the uh, Perlman Center for Advanced Medicine to see the clinical core. We're here in the waiting area of the Penn Memory Center. The Alzheimer's Disease Center's clinical core is at the heart of the Penn Memory Center. We have six faculty that come from psychiatry, from neurology, and from geriatric medicine. It really is a one-stop shop. We uh, see the patients, we collect all the, the clinical data, we do our lumbar punctures here, collect blood, uh, conduct EKGs, do the psychometric testing, and all the other aspects of good clinical evaluation and research evaluation. Data on patients and their families is collected all along the way. It is entered directly into the Integrated Neurodegenerative Disease Database, which has been a tremendous boon to our research. We have records now on about 12,000 patients with a variety of disorders, including Alzheimer's disease, mild cognitive impairment, normal aging, uh, as well as other neurodegenerative diseases like frontotemporal dementia and Lewy body diseases. I think one of the most critical aspects of the work that we do here is the education and counseling that we do with patients. We have a cognitive fitness program. We have a semi-structured caregiver education group. We have support groups for people in early stage as well as moderate stage disease. We have a choral group that has just started up for people with memory disorders. Another thing we just completed a, a wonderful art exhibit of photographs of caregivers. I'm Dr. Jason Karlowich. I see patients at the clinical core of Penn's Alzheimer's Disease Core Center, and I direct its Education, Information, and Transfer Core. The Education Core uh, provides educational materials for patients and their families, and in addition, provides materials for the recruitment and retention of patients into uh, research. We're particularly proud of our efforts to serve the uh, minority community of Philadelphia. The Education, Recruitment, and Retention Corps and the Clinical Corps work together very closely. Together we conduct up to 20 different studies, uh, including clinical trials, uh, biomarker validation studies, and studies to uh, evaluate quality of life and decision making in patients and their family members. I'm the Director of Drug Discovery here at uh, CNDR. The Alzheimer's Disease Center provides us uh, a number of resources that we can leverage uh, within our drug discovery programs. Uh, for example, there's a neuropathology core uh, that exists within the ADCC uh, that we often utilize in our studies uh, where we're trying to evaluate drugs or drug candidates in transgenic mouse models of disease. We also certainly learn and get valuable information from the genetics core uh, in the sense that by keeping attuned to the findings of that group, we can you know, be in the forefront of potential new drug targets that might emerge in Alzheimer's disease and other neurodegenerative conditions. And then finally, there's the clinical core. We have the benefit of the clinical core in that if we have a drug that moves forward in clinical testing, uh, the clinical core of the ADCC has the capability of uh, being involved in, in the characterization of that drug candidate in Alzheimer's patients. So this is the end of our virtual tour of the University of Pennsylvania Alzheimer's Center. I want to thank you very much for, for joining us.